today we are going to talk about regenerative farming the new buzzword among the modern farmers what is regenerative farming how is that going to help you and how grotron can help you really get into regenerative farming that's the core of our discussion today the objective of regenerative farming is ultimately enhance the soil health which is going to help the plants anyway right and this used to happen naturally 2 3 decades ago but in the recent past the usage of excessive fertilizers and other chemicals in uh, farming really brought down the soil fertility and because of which we are in a time frame today where we really must think about improving soil health and one of the ways to do it is through regenerative farming there are many things that you need to do starting with uh, uh, no tillage to multi cropping uh, to adding compost and many more to achieve regenerative farming but we will talk just about one thing which is how do we get the plants to do more of root exudates so that more carbon accumulates in the rhizosphere which is going to enhance the soil health and which in turn is going to help the crop that's the only single subject that we are going to talk about imagine any plant if you are able to make sure the plant's leaves are wider then the space available for photosynthesis increases in that case it is going to produce excess sugar and the sugar it produces is used either for the growth of the plant itself for reproduction and for transporting the minerals and other nutrition from uh, roots to the other parts of uh, the plant and if there is any excess sugar beyond these three uses that is going to really uh, push down through the roots uh, to the soil and that is what we are trying to exploit and try to get the plants to push more sugar to the soil and every uh, bit of sugar the plant actually exudates into the soil into the rhizosphere is going to add to more carbon in the soil and this um, carbon deposit can never be achieved uh, by adding compost or by any other means the only sustainable way of adding more carbon to the soil is to somehow get the plants to exudate more sugar more carbon into the soil the best way to improve a plant's photosynthesis is to follow precision farming simple now there are two golden rules of uh, precision farming rule number 1 maintain the right air water balance at the root zone rule number 2 give the plant what it needs at the right quantity at the right time and if you are able to do these two uh, uh, broadly uh the plant has no other option but to perform now maintaining the air water balance is a function of having the right drip irrigation which can deliver water accurately and at very very minimal discharge so that it maintains moisture and at the same time has enough room for aeration and that is air water balance the nutrition management of course uh it goes by the genetic capacity of the plant depending on the genetic capacity if it is coconut uh you know from 100 nuts to all the way up to 400 nuts some varieties because a plants uh, that can give 100 to 150 nuts obviously need less and the plants that can give 400 nuts needs to eat more simple logic and accordingly you calculate the nutrition requirement and deliver them to the plants um, little by little straight to the root zone so that the plants get all the minerals they need to be able to uh, participate in photosynthesis and again remember in spite of the fact that you probably ensured all the minerals have been supplied but still the photosynthesis becomes effective only when the right air water balance is maintained at the root zone this is precisely where grotron comes into picture grotron is a technology that was built based on the science of evapotranspiration it actually collects a lot of data from the soil from the atmosphere even from uh, weather sites like uh, weather.com and ecoweather.com and these data are processed through artificial intelligence to predict when the soil moisture may go out of balance or in other words when the air water balance can actually break its balance and then it will do a secondary prediction to figure out when and how long an irrigation has to be administered so that the air water balance is always maintained based on the prediction the system will automatically turn the valves on the pump on and will administer irrigation with this the rule number 1 is met where the air water balance is maintained and while the air water balance is being maintained it will also ensure the nutrition are supplied as calculated 
precisely at the right quantity at the right time. And these two ultimately help improve the efficiency of precision farming. That ultimately leads to improved photosynthesis because uh, the leaves are going to be broader, therefore more space for photosynthesis. Now the plants, after using its energy, it harvested through photosynthesis for growth, for reproduction, for transporting, all the rest are going to really get uh, exudated into the soil, into the rhizosphere, which is going to help in rejuvenating the soil heat, uh, deposit more carbon into the soil. And that is one part of regenerative farming, which we are focusing using our technology to